In this video, we're going to go through and finish the cycling through of sites. So currently, when we go to switch sites like this, it's very snappy. We don't have any sort of interpolation going on to smooth the transition. However, we do when we aim normally. We want to do the same effect for when we change the when we actually cycle through our sites and remove this print because that's not needed. So let's actually remove that first where we print out the alpha and set it up so, well, we can change where we aim to. Well, we smooth out the transition when we change our sites. So we're going to go ahead and create another F transform. This one's going to be the final hand transform. And we want to set the final hand transform somewhere in here. So we're just for now, again, we're going to clean this up later on. But I want to go ahead and duplicate the set relative hand transform function. And I'm going to change it to set final hand transform. And copy and paste everything inside of the set relative transform and paste it in it. So then we just change where we set relative hand transform to final hand transform. And, you know, we don't have to worry about it. And I'll just get rid of the log. No, actually, yeah, we'll leave the log in there. So this way we have it set up. So instead of calling set relative hands tran set relative hand transform, we call set final hand transform. And we want to have a boolean here to control that as well. So we have b interp aiming. We're gonna have b or bool b interp relative hand. Set that to false by default. And we want to set that to true when we cycle the optic. So B interp relative hand equals true. So then from here, we want to have a function to interpret or interpolate it. So we're going to do void interp relative hand. Okay. Now we're going to do the exact same thing that we did inside of interp aiming, but for the interp hand. So we're going to do relative hands transform equals u kismet math library. P interp 2 for transform. So it takes in the current, which is the relative hands transform. Then the target, which is going to be the final hand transform. And then the same parameters as shown above, which is the get world delta seconds and the interp speed which we can just copy and paste like so. And then we do our check if relative hands transform dot equals, we're gonna do it and see if it compares to final hands transform. Now we can change the tolerance if we wish, as you can see from here, it takes in the transform that we wanna compare it with and then the tolerance. So if we decrease the tolerance size, or sorry, increase it, we will have a less accurate well, check. So we want to just, we can leave that as default. We know that'll work. And then all we have to do is b interp relative hand equals false. So great. Now we just got to call this. So up here in our native update, we have if b interp aiming. We do if b interp relative hand. All we do is call interp relative hand, and we are done. So let's close down the editor, save it, recompile and relaunch, and let's test it out. I aim, I press T, and now we have a smooth transition between each of our optics. And everything works as it should. So that's great. So we now have the interpolation set up for our switching of the sites and that's pretty much what we wanted to do now that takes care for the most part of our site system however there's a couple other things that we could have that might be of issue so what i mean by that let's open up our animation blueprint uh, we're still let me see if we're still playing the montage when we try to shoot so on fire yeah we play the montage we don't have any montage to play for when we shoot and if we you know, play it by default, we're going to have some issues like I'll show you here in a second. So let's search for a slot. I think the montage is under arms, is it? 
Yeah, it's under the arms. So let's change it to the arms slot. And then I'll kind of give you two different approaches. Well, better yet, uh, we'll do this at the beginning. Like so, we'll plug it in right after our animation. And when we try to shoot, as you can see, it works fine. But let's try aiming. As you can see, it's trying to pull the hand away, like so. And if we move this away and do it afterwards, like so, we have the same result. Let's try aiming. This is what it's supposed to be. However, the problem is it's playing the actual animation, so it's taking our right hand and dragging it down and to the right as if it was right here. So when we shoot like this, that's what it's trying to do. It's just interpolating itself down there. So we want to make this, instead of being fixed like this, we want to make it additive. So any way we aim, it plays it correctly. So that's what we'll take care of in the next video. So that's going to be all for this one. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patrons, as well as you get early access to all of my videos, such as this one. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.